Alright, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father. Because when we got in Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Kakadash, double honors to my apostles and elders, the great millstone, Wuba, and taught me this truth. And Shalom to our brothers out there, through the full course of earth, pushing us for in our righteousness and sincerity, Shalom. I'm looking at Zapa from um, GMS Rodney, North Carolina. I'm over signing here with the brothers in DC for the moment. Um, and then just come back with another quick lesson, okay, to the Spirit. And, uh, Today's lesson is um, going to be entitled, The True Understanding, okay? Understanding on giving to the poor, okay? All right, because you have a lot of Christians out there, a lot of Jake, that's like, you know, I do what the Bible says, I give to the poor, you know, I help the needy, da-da-da, you know, stuff, which that is, is written in the scriptures, but you need to get an understanding of where the, uh, what that actually means, and the scriptures say that, so I'm getting scripture where it says give to the poor, you know, uh, it says, let's see, and a lot of them are talking about, you know, scriptures in the New Testament, um, yep, yeah, we'll start at Matthew 19 and 21. And Yahweh Shai, who the word and called Jesus Christ, okay, says, Yahweh Shai said unto him, If thou wilt be, be perfect, and go and sell that thou ha what that thy houses, stock it, let me read that again. It says, For if thou wilt be perfect, and go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me, because remember, in that little instance, there's a man that's saying, you know, he did all the laws, and what does he need to do to, to make it, basically, and the Lord said, give to the poor, and, you know, all the stuff, and people will say, yeah, I, I do what the Lord just, you know, just said, man, and, you know, I'm trying to follow the Lord, you know, all right, and we'll get some more scriptures that people also use to, to say that they're doing what the Lord wants, man, okay, you know, or they're giving to the poor, so they're pleasing the Lord, okay, it right, says, um, Matthew 26 and 9 says, For the ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. Oh, it's like, that's not the one I want. Um, oh, yep, yep, here's another one. I believe it's the same account. This is Mark 10 and 21. It says, Then Yahweh Shai, beholding him, loved him and said unto him, One thing thou lackest. Go thy way, sell whatever thou hast, and give it to the poor. Thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and take up the cross and follow me. Now, people are like, you know, well, I took up my cross. I, you know, I, I, I've been given to the poor. You know, I do homeless shelters. I do all these things, right? All right, so people use the excuse that they're doing the uh, the will of the Heavenly Father, okay? Okay, um, let's see. You know, uh, let's get some more scriptures to show you that, you know, the giving to the poor is written in the scriptures. Okay. Um, let's see, Proverbs 20 and 27. It says, He that giveth unto the poor shall not lack. He that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse. Like, But he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse, okay, all right, Stockton, but, you know, the main point I wanted to get for Yakim is that, you know, given to the poor is written in the scriptures, but we got to understand who is the poor, okay, you know, who is the poor that it's talking about, you know, and we're going to get it right here in uh, the book of Sirach, also in Ecclesiasticus, um, 12, all right, and we're going to start at verse 1, it says, and thou do good, know to whom thou doest it, okay? It says, so shall thou be thanked for thy benefits, kind. So when you're doing good, all right, you know, giving to the poor, like the scriptures have said, you know, know who thou do it to. So you got to know who you're doing it to, okay? We're talking about those, really, it's those, the poor of the believers in the faith, all right, that believe in Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, all right, brothers and sisters that are in need, okay? You know, the Spirit says, this says what? Verse 2 says, do good to the godly man. Okay? 
It says do good to the godly man. It didn't say do good to the sinner. Okay. All right. There's ones that willfully sin against Yahweh by Hashem Al Shai. Because if you read in uh, Second Ezra uh, 15, okay, and uh, I believe it's verse 24 and 25, the Lord said that he's going to destroy all sinners. Whoa. Unto the sinners that break his law, statute, commandments. And that's talking to those who willfully break the law, statute, commandments of Yahweh by Hashem Al Shai. All right. The ungodly, okay, of the nation of Israel. Okay, so when this talk about, you know, giving to the poor, it's talk about to the believers in the faith. Okay, it says, do good to the godly man, all right, the man of the faith. Okay, it says, and thou shalt find a recompense, all right, a reward. Okay, you know, the Lord will reward you for helping out his men. Okay, because it's like you helping out our Lord Yahweh Shai, okay, himself. All right, it says, and if not him, Yet from the Most High, from Yahweh Bachim Al Shai, a reward will come for you. If that brother doesn't, you know, pay you back, so to speak, and can't pay you back, you know, or recompense you for what you've done, the Lord will, okay, because the Lord sees the true intent of the heart, okay? He knows that you're helping out the godly man, the man of the faith, because he's in need, okay? It says, there can no good come to him that is occupied in evil, okay? All right? No good is going to come to him that's occupied in evil. The ungodly man. Okay. You know, those sinners out here, man. Okay. You think that brothers is going to give their hard own money, you know, uh, 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 a quick living space or whatever need. Okay. To a nigga out here that's uh, blaspheming Yahweh Bashim Shai that's, that's not taking Yahweh Bashim Shai serious that doesn't fear the Lord. No. Okay. It says, so no good is going to come his way. Right, it says, nor to him that give no alms, okay? <laughs> to a man that always, you know, takes but never gives, man, okay? You know, he, he never gives anything. If he can't give anything uh, physically, he doesn't give anything spiritually, you know? It says, give to the godly man. It says, help not a sinner. When it, So when it says that, we're talking about those that willfully sin against the Heavenly Father, okay? All right, sinners, okay? Those that commit sin, what is sin according to the Bible, okay? All right? You know, what is sin according to the Bible? We'll get that real fast. Let's... Let's get this really fast. This is, uh, you know, it's in the New Testament, of course. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. It says, Whoso committed sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. Sorry, so sin is the transgression of the law, statute, commandments of the Bible, which was only given to the Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says, so the scripture is said here in, in Sirach 12, it says, What? Give to the godly man, the man of the faith. Okay, that's the godly man, the one that's doing the will of the heavenly father. Uh, uh, following the law, statute, commandments to the best of their ability, doing the will of the heavenly father. Okay, all right. It says, and help not the sinner. Okay, those that what? Willfully break the law, statute, commandments of the Bible. Not caring of what the Lord delights in. Okay, the ones that refuse and rebel. Okay, was written in Isaiah that those that refuse and rebel shall be devoured by the sword. <laughs> so we're not helping those that are eventually going to what be devoured by the sword. We're helping those that are willing and obedient to the will of Yahweh Shema Oshai. Okay, it says do well unto him that is lowly. Okay, remember lowly also goes into humble. It's talking about the elect of the nation of Israel. It says, but give not unto the ungodly. Okay. Two thirds of the nation of Israel, the elect of the nation of Israel, and it's lucky if I, uh, if I, if I, if I uh, misquote that, the one third, okay, the elect of the nation of Israel, the lowly, okay, and the ungodly is the two thirds of the nation of Israel, okay. All right, it says, hold back thy bread, okay, to the ungodly. It says, and give not it unto, unto him, lest he overmaster. <coughs> <coughs> it's lucky. It says, let's see, overmaster thee, 
thereby, and for else thou shalt receive twice as much evil for all the good that thou hast done unto him. Okay, because a nigga, you can help out a nigga, okay, all right, but he's going to still, uh, uh, so to speak, fuck you over, man, okay, no matter how much you've done from him, he's going to be a nigga, he's going to forget all the things that you've done from him, all right, and he's going to be more evil unto you than he's ever been, okay, all right, it says, for the most high hate of sinners, okay, it says, and we repay vengeance upon the ungodly, this is why I want to help him, because the Lord's going to destroy them, why help a, a, somebody that the Lord's going to destroy Okay, all right. It says, and keep him ag against the day of the mighty Saki and, and keep him against the mighty day of their punishment. It says, give unto the good and help not the sinner. And it says it again. It's twice. Okay. All right. So when it says given unto the poor, it's talking about those who are of the faith, the good godly man, the lowly man. Okay. All right. Lowly in spirit, humble, serving y'all by Shema Shai. But don't give unto these niggas, man. Okay? <laughs> and stuff. Because these niggas are, uh, you know, F you over, so to speak, man. Okay? You know? And, and and still hate you. Okay? No matter how much they've done for you. Okay? All right? When the, the, the righteous man, he's going he's to thank you. Okay? That's why I said in the first verse, know who thou doest good unto. Okay? All right? It says, so thou shalt be thanked for thy benefits. A godly man is going to thank you for everything that... You have done for him, okay? All right, and then you'll be repaid, if not by that man, all right, by Yahweh, by Shema Shai. So this is just talking to the brothers, to, you know, you know, the faith, you know, give unto the godly, you know, you know, don't give unto the sinner because <laughs> the sinner is going to jack you over, but the man, the Lord, will be grateful and the Lord will reward you. So just a little quick lesson to the spirit, probably Yahweh, by Shema Shai. With that, let it give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. And it's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, Kadash, double honors to my apostles and elders, great Muslim, who will answer my truth. And shalom to all the brothers out there to the four corners of earth, pushing this word in our righteousness and sincerity. Until next time, to the elect of the nation of Israel, say shalom.